Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, it was a cold morning out there this morning. We bottomed out at 20 degrees here in town, and that's kind of a um, you know that's kind of a, a fun number because that's only four degrees from the record, which was 17 set back in 2014. So, are you sure? It's April. I don't think anybody's sure it's April at this point. So uh, looking down the road here, the next big thing is going to be tomorrow. Now we kind of been hinting this throughout the week, how there's likely going to be some sort of a, a, a low pressure area passing to our south. So we've kind of upped the totals a little bit. So basically, you know, the southern tier, northwestern Pennsylvania, you might no, the word might need a shovel, depending on your exact locality. Further up to the north, maybe enough for just a dusting at times or, or at least a coating up there. But uh, basically down in our direction, yeah, we're going to be getting some more accumulating snow out of this. And we're almost and we're halfway through the month of April. Sick joke, I know. All right, here we go with a future scan. These snow showers that have been moving through uh, basically have been laying down about a quick uh, half inch to, um, you know, essentially, you know, one inch uh, through the day here today. Tonight, partly to mostly cloudy. Uh, cold, though, but it should be a mainly dry night. Tomorrow should start mainly dry. Then as we head into the afternoon hours, widespread snow with that fast-moving pressure system to our south. So the snow will increase from south to north, actually. And uh, the darker blues indicate the heavier amounts of snowfall. And the snow will accumulate tomorrow. It'll continue tomorrow afternoon. Then as that pressure system moves off the Atlantic East Coast, the snow will taper off west to east. And then it, uh, Friday night should be mainly dry after midnight. And then and then as we look into Saturday, high pressure returns back into the area once again. So uh, projected snowfall totals here, about two to four inches. This four inches is likely going to be on the highest hills of the southern tier. So about one to two inches lower elevations, maybe three inches, spotty four inches on the hills, maybe upwards of five inches on the hills. Again, it's all location based, location, 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 uh, depending on your um, you know area within your spot, uh, within the area here, three to five inches way down further to the south and east to get closer to that storm center but uh, for the most part we'll be looking at about one to three inches for most areas upwards of four inches there so partly to mostly cloudy today scattered snow showers develop in the afternoon an additional half inch to one inch to maybe one and a half inches uh, in spots very cold though 30 on the hills 37 at the lake area shoreline with a west wind 10 to 15 miles per hour some wind gusts could be near 30 miles an hour especially this afternoon partly to mostly cloudy tonight cold and quiet 22 in the deepest valleys to 30 at the lake area shoreline west wind 10 to 15 the wind stays up especially overnight tomorrow 34 degrees two to four inches on average that's a cold day though way below average partial sunshine returns on saturday 45 we make it back into the upper uh, 50s on uh, sunday with a few rain showers but it also turns windy along with that once again the sun returns on monday 52 then we fall down a little bit again going into tuesday and wednesday a few rain and snow showers tuesday but wednesday should be mainly dry with a few rain showers at times